welcome back to my channel it's Kristen here and I am finally getting my second trimester video up for you guys and I'm so excited to share good news with you guys um, if this is your first time on my channel hey my name is Kristen nice to meet you don't forget to subscribe um, but yeah I want this video to be a little cut down from the first trimester <laughs> I had a lot to say in my first trimester but um, Good to say that my second trimester has been a breeze for the most part. Um, so, yeah, let's jump on into what's been going on. Um, oh, before I start, I'm actually in my third trimester now, so I completely finished my second trimester. Um, first thing about my second trimester is that I do not feel nauseous anymore. I didn't feel nauseous at all as soon as I hit my 14th week. And um, I was just, I was so happy because I was able to do more things. I got more energy. I got off of my um, medication that I was on, which was Diclegis. And I wasn't like tired anymore. Um, I was able to hang out with my friends. And <laughs> it was, it was a good feeling. No more depression. Um, because I was feeling great. And I was just happy I wasn't nauseous anymore and I could finally eat again so since I could finally eat again um, in my second trimester I gained a lot of weight so I gained the most weight in my second trimester first trimester I didn't really gain any weight maybe like a pound it was kind of scary for me because I thought you know I wasn't gaining enough weight for me and the baby um, so when I was finally able to eat again I guess I overdid it and I was eating a lot um and my doctor told me to actually slow down a little because you don't want to gain too much weight in a short period of time because you can actually get gestational diabetes um which i took the glucose test in my second trimester and i passed it so the glucose test is basically like um you drink like a, a cup of sugary water and mine was red and you drink it and then like you wait maybe I think an hour and they test your blood to see um, if your body can handle the sugar and I passed and I was so happy um so yeah I gained weight um I also developed this weird craving which was smelling like candles and hand soaps and um Clark's wipes I know that it was bad it was it kind of got bad so I had to like um I had to buy like natural oils and essential oils I bought lavender um it was yeah like I had to just buy like natural products to smell because like literally every time I wash my hands even like in my third trimester now I like smelling hand soaps like the hand soap has to be good and like if I go to a restaurant and the hand soap isn't good I kind of get like disappointed like uh come on guys <laughs> like you know give me a, a nice fancy hand soap like whatever I didn't really have any food cravings just like I would like broccoli with like most of my meals oh maybe avocado was a craving for my second trimester I love avocado um, so yeah, uh, that happened, and also something scary happened, which was fainting on the train. So I live in New York City, and I have to take the subway to get to work, and I, one day I was just feeling really, like, weird on the train, and then I started feeling nauseous, and then I started feeling lightheaded, and, and then I started feeling dizzy. And then I couldn't see and then I remember like me falling and someone catching me and like sitting me down and um, that was very scary and like after that I, I think I developed like a anxiety of being on the train because it's like a, a closed space and sometimes there's a lot of people and sometimes like um, people don't get up because they don't even know that you're pregnant so you don't have a seat on the train and you're just like rushing to work and all this stuff is happening and like I started to <laughs> feel like that most times I got on the train like I was gonna faint um 
so yeah that was something very scary that happened in my second trimester um that's pretty much it for my second trimester i believe oh another thing is that um sleep was was getting hard for me like i noticed that like sleeping was not going to be easy <laughs> Um, I didn't get a pregnancy pillow because I have like a really long pillow that is similar to a pregnancy pillow. Um, but yeah, like sleeping and like peeing at night is still annoying. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It was really a 360 from my first trimester. I feel like for a lot of women out there that are pregnant and are feeling sick, like hopefully it gets better for you because it got better for me you just have to know how to handle your body during pregnancy and don't overdo things like if, if you can't go into work a certain day because you feel sick you have the right to call out you're pregnant you know like i just had to learn how to slow things down a little bit um and i had to realize i can't do everything that i was doing before i'm almost done with my third trimester actually um, which is super exciting. I have a month left, so I'll be getting my third trimester video up very soon for you guys. Um, I recently had my baby shower and it was amazing. It was everything I've dreamed of. It was like a fairy tale theme with like unicorns and flowers and butterflies and silver and glitter and it was just it was gorgeous i wasn't able to film that because it was just a lot of people and um i did post a lot of pictures on my instagram so if you want to keep up with me i suggest you follow my instagram because i post way more often on there um i'm actually thinking of doing like a baby shower gift um upload where like i show you my favorite baby shower gifts and the ones i've wanted the most and the ones i know that will be most helpful for me and my baby um so yeah guys thank you for watching this video and don't forget to thumbs up and i will see you in my next video Mwah!